Hi everyone, um, I am doing a video to show uh, massage techniques that I use to help me recover from uh, facial paralysis or um, what is also called Bell's palsy. I had my onset in July the 14th and by August the 11th, which was a full month after, um, I was about 90% recovered. I was able to um, blink to move my eyes and now we are in November and um, yeah my full smile is back <laughs> um, I'm able to fully blink so I wasn't able to do that and I thought to do this video because I tried anything and everything that people would recommend to me I would do and so I'll be doing several little mini videos um, to demonstrate but today we're gonna do just the massage techniques um, I followed one girl here on um, YouTube and I'll put her link on the bottom so I'll be doing some of the stuff that she did but I also added on information that um, that I found and through my uh, masseuse where she helped me and just things that I kind of discovered along the way that I tried that I did and I just felt like it really helped uh, my recovery so what I'm gonna use is the brand now and so this oil it's just massaging oil um, I picked this up today because I ran out I love this brand now it says one but now um, I also used essential oils to help um, calm because as we know Bell's palsy is uh, stress induced so the best thing we can do is um, remain calm so um, I used uh, lavender essential oils and um, among a couple of other ones so that I can do my massages and if you don't have that you know your moisturizer that you have for at night your night cream you know rub that on put it like a chunk on rub it all over two for one you know you get your massage and you get your face feeling and looking beautiful at the same time and it's a win-win <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I've never done a video. I'm actually a very shy person. Um, but I found this very important and I would love to share what I've learned through my journey and hopefully can help anyone out there that's dealing with it. It gets better. Um, it doesn't feel like it at that time. And even recovery, sometimes you get a little scared. But, um, I promise you, you'll, you'll feel amazing. Just try anything that keeps you calm. So I just added some of the massaging oil and it can be any. I started using, um, almond and lavender together. Now sells so already a massage oil in that way. Or almond oil, olive oil, coconut oil, whatever you have on hand. Um, that's just all that they had in stock, uh, today. So that's what I grabbed, something new. And then one or two drops of your lavender essential oil it's kind of, you know if you're not allergic <laughs> just rub that around it really starts to feel amazing and they say I had the bells on the right side um, they say to start on the affected area but I believe to do your whole face because you're and your neck and your shoulders um, so I'm just going to start by applying some oil a little bit everywhere. It makes it easier to work with once it's all on. Um, do this when you're either waking up, when you're about to go to sleep, if you have time. Any time throughout the day, um, you know, if you're able to take off, any time that you remember that you can think of, you can try. So I started by doing bubbles. This, uh, what it does, it helps you stretch if you're able. I wasn't able to fully close my mouth um, when I was suffering through bells. So I would just hold my lip and just blow. And then just hold it together. And then try to push uh, your... Um, good side into your tired side I would like to call that it was I like to say it was 
my tired side. I don't want to say it's my affected side. I do not claim it. Um, the bells, you know, I, I will not say that it was um, mine or anything like that because, or I try not to because I also uh, worked with um, the law of attraction and prayer. And, um, you know, it's very important to use your words and, and always use it for the positive. So your uh, good side and your tired side, or, you know, my good side, my tired side. And I just close my mouth. And what it does, it you press on this side to stretch out this side. And um, hold that for about 10 seconds. Let it go. And I start by massaging my cheek. Um, I would do this whenever I knew that I had time to take a nap because it would feel so good that I would just literally <laughs> go to sleep in the middle of my massages and um, it was like the best thing ever. So we're going to start with our fingers on our forehead and we can just stretch. Let's start again a little bit higher. I'm just kind of opening a stretch. Where your eyebrows are at, stretch them out and then up. You want to go into your hair, to your hairline, to your scalp. And use your palm to help stretch out all of these nerves. Because with me, what I discovered, I was stretching here and massaging there, but um, I didn't feel it really doing anything and, you know, it gets frustrating and you get kind of discouraged and, you know, I spent one night really researching and what can I do and, you know, I'm Latina too, so I had called um, my aunts from Mexico and what they recommended and watched, you know, other Spanish YouTubers and, and see what all they did. And one of the articles was um, your nervous system. I googled, you know, our nervous systems, and my masseuse really, really helped me. And she recommended to do a full scalp massage as well, because, you know, it's it's all connected. It's all um, tired. It's it's overworked. So the more that you can just massage this area as well will really help. So my hair is, is going to get really wild. <laughs> um, I would start right here and do like a small and push up. Hold it. <laughs> Squeeze it down. Oh, and then use your palms to really get that cheek line. Oh, that bone like a bone right here and just go along with it. it feels amazing actually and you just massage it out just carry it out especially behind the ear in this area my hair was really long um before the onset and i chopped it off because it was driving me nuts to have my hair. I literally felt like it was just stretching and just pulling everything down. So I literally grabbed the scissors and it was just like, like, it's done. Um, I prayed with it. They say our hair, woman's hair, um, you know, we carry so much energy and, and, and um, old memories and, you know, just, just a lot. Our our hair is is it's a just trademark. It's a staple. And for me, I don't recommend you go out and cut your hair. If you don't feel like that's necessary. Cause it's definitely not. But for me, it was more spiritual. And I wanted to let go of anything negative that I had prior to this event, and just fully be break free from it. So, you know, I had to cut my hair. I start by going by my from my neck. And I stretch it out because that's very important. I do these, I guess, without thinking, so I, I apologize. <laughs> but um, you want to get in a circular motion. This, this right here, 
this bone, this is where you want to press where that bone, where that, this bone is at. Uh, I don't know what they're called, but you want to smooth, smooth all that. And just go back and forth and just really stretch it. Use it'll help you take all of that off. Start with your smile and you press it out. <laughs> Outwards. Same thing with the top. And we are not attractive at all these massages, but oh you're gonna feel amazing. Amazing. I discovered that we have a lot of nerve endings on our nose and these nerve endings actually help close your eyelid so um, I did not know that at first so I was massaging all right here because they say to do like the sides of your jawline which is very important you want to massage that out and so I was doing that and I was getting really good at it and my smile started to come back but my eye still wouldn't close. And then you go from, um, I guess, like right across where your eye is at. You put three. And I just spread it out. You hold it there and you just spread. And then you do your temple. That always feels good too. Um, and then I later discovered that the nerve endings to your eyelids to the bottom you know to to this area it's actually connected right here and um you know it's swelling that we have our nerves are swollen so you don't really want to do much with them other than just stretch it stretch anything that feels kind of tense and you will feel the difference when you're doing both at the same time which i i recommend um so you can kind of get the pressure um because i discovered that was very important is we we go light because we don't realize that um that you're going so so light until you like pressing you're like wait a minute that's not that deep you want to go deep you want to press on it and it's gonna hurt a little bit but that's just because um you know, your nerves are swollen, they're tired. Imagine, like, when you go to work out and um, they have, uh, your legs are tense. You know, your your nerves and your muscles, they're just really tight. So what do you do? You stretch them. And that's exactly what we do here to relieve that type of pain. Um, I did a lot of little different techniques. I used a little roller. So this, this doesn't have anything, but I use this little ball. Make sure that's kind of warm. You know, it's the last thing we want to do is warm up our face and then put cold on it. But I use e anything that you have a marble, you know, um, a little roller like this. I sometimes would take it out, like I would just kind of roll on it. Oh, it feels so good. It still feels good. Um, even now, you know, it's been. Four months, about well, going on four months, that uh, I had the onset. It's still important to kind of sometimes go back and massage your face to keep make sure everything's still soft. You know, I, I was told about muscle memory and how our muscles still remember the trauma. So, you know, they would try to tense up. Um, I start working up. Sorry. This is my first video, guys. Please bear with me. I'll go slower if <laughs> if need to be. And I talk a lot when I get nervous. <laughs> and I just go in circles. I mean, it's just to feel good. Mm, especially back here. Can't go all in there. But this is perfect for your nose. And you just go around circles, circles back, 
especially this side right here. Get your wiggle back. Cause I used to be able to wiggle my nose. So it goes forward, so it goes back, just all along the line. And then get to your other side too, just so it can kind of be relaxed. Um, don't go directly underneath your eye, and this, uh, I would recommend maybe your pinky to kind of stretch it, because you don't want to poke your eye at that time. But go a little, you know, and then we don't, you know, we're uh, really sensitive in that area to begin with, so I would rather recommend to go a little bit under and stretch it back slowly. And then your temple. Put it right here. And then push out. We can start right here. And always push out. Stretch it. Mm. Um another thing that I enjoy doing, um, if you've heard of stone healing or crystal healing. Um, I found out about it and so I purchased some stones and I had a little green one. I, I don't know the types of stones. I just got the ones that called to me and, um, use those because every, everyone needs different types of, of healing. Um, I Googled what Bell's palsy, what is the spiritual meaning of it? And it said that it was a uh, pent up anger. So it's anger that was not expressed, and you just hold it in. So stress, you know, also does that. Ooh, so, yeah. You call those people, call those people, and speak your mind. You know, don't hold that in. If you if you, if you can't, write it down on a piece of paper. Um, you know, burn that paper afterwards. Send a letter, something. Just get it out like vocally express that so it's warming up my stones but um i purchased this cute little one and then this one was given to me from a friend it's called a worry stone so you put it or a pocket stone and it's for your thumb to kind of massage back and forth but i discovered this is perfect to kind of go from uh like your your third eye and you stretch it out, you press it down. So this will give you an even um, pressure. And then out, go go back and then behind the ear. So you really wanna get this area. This is where um, the area around your ear, pull your ear, um, is where this the you know skull meets our nerve endings and um when that gets swollen that's why this happens on our face so the faster that we can alleviate the tension from here let me try to go sideways the better so i just use these stones to kind of rub on me to give me pressure because my hands would get tired or i wouldn't do the even pressure correctly it shows. Okay, press it down. On the jawline, this is important. This right here for me was very important. So I would go back to my little stone. On my wall. All the way. You can use your fingers. If you don't have one, just press it up. Because we have a lot of nerve endings right there. Up and out. Always up. And out. Uh, this big one would help soften here. And soften all this area. Just whatever you have in hand. Um, 
the place where I purchased these stones, I didn't really ask. I just kind of went in to see what called for, what was calling out to me, what jumped up to me. What was it that I needed? And the little green one was so cute, but I gave that one back. It was a friend. It was a friend stone, and I saw it in her home, and I was just like, I need this. Can I borrow it? <laughs> I gave it to her, like, last week. I should have held on to it for a little bit longer to show you guys, but... Swords. I'll just do real quick the other side. No, because it's stressed too. It's doing all the work now. You smile. Push it up. Mm. In this area right here. I'm going to push out. Use it. Put on your ear. You know, if you're Mexican, it kind of reminds me of an egg. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Do that too if it makes you feel better. I mean, seriously, I didn't think about it till right now, but believe me, if I would have thought about it then, I'd be putting that egg all over. Give me the ojo. This was my favorite part, and this I made up because uh, my massage therapist was the one who um, recommended, like, stretching there's videos where you stick you know you put your hand in there and my hands are clean i wash them and then you fall out you know they say go in and then you fall or this way and you fall that it's the j you go in all the way as far as you can and then you pull but sometimes i can feel my face like needing to stretch and I was out or I just didn't want to put my hands in my mouth that's where this came in handy this is a super blow pop so that's bigger than the blow pop that you find at the store which to me was the perfect size um because the regular blow pops they were they wouldn't stretch my cheek and you'll see what I mean literally after you do your your bubbles just to kind of help. This is all I did. Oh. <sighs> I just let it sit there. It felt so good. It feels so good even now. You could, it would feel tight. And after about three to five minutes, you can feel your nerves start to loosen up and that was like the best feeling ever um to feel my face kind of not feel so numb and not be in so much pain it just it felt like relief so i just put it in <laughs> just kind of sat there talked move it around if you want no not this one you can go with your down down Um, and you don't have to have this till it's over. I just would put it back in its wrapper, rinse it, put it back in its wrapper, pop it in the fridge or whatever, and use it later. And your dundum is awesome because you get to get that whole, um, the top part where you're, where you can't really reach unless you know you have your, like, the, your thumb is the technique that you see online. You, you get this whole area and you stretch it out. Do this. So, you know, if you wanted the alternative is a little dum dum, you put it all in there to the top and just slowly pull it out. You might need like two of these. It's gonna be a little bit. And you move it forward slowly. That's the important part because you want to. Let your nerves relax on their own. I hope you can understand me. But it helps. To let your body kind of do its own thing. And slowly move it forward. 
let me just I pull it it'd be like right here so I I pull it out to stretch it it still feels so good and get that whole area your lip move it over start in the bottom just drag it down push it all the way out push it out and up when we have it up here we can massage on the outside of it and then pull it out together go around it and then it tastes good so you're set you know and I would finish off with this one I would have my daughter sit with me and um, she'd be like smile so you know I would smile she would help me lift the side she would pick it up for me so you know that I think helped too if you're wanting to do your smile and just stretch it touch it all the way and back I finish off with the scalp. Just dig your nails in it. Como si tienes piojos. Una más. Rascale. Just rub it out. Just rub it out. And the ears. It's really important. For me it was actually. I mean, it doesn't say nowhere else. There, people say to chew gum. Please don't do that. Um, chewing gum actually adds more stress. And you're, you know, you already have inflammation. And they're already tired. So, the war, you know, to me, I feel like the worst thing that you can do is add more. It's like doing another 50-minute workout after you worked for two, worked out for two hours, you know, your body's tired. It needs to rest. It needs to stretch. You don't want to give it another hour of a workout. And chewing gum, would, I feel, would do that. Um, I drank solids. I mean, uh, liquids. <laughs> uh, juices, so I'll go on another video to talk about that. Um, I really help, hope that this helps anyone out there know that it does get better you have faith you pray pray to um whoever you are comfortable with your religious background um you know get close to them i am personally a christian so to me it was you know jesus christ and jehovah um our god and and wake up every morning just being thankful um, that you're here, that the situation that you're in is temporary, that you will overcome it, because you will. Um, and let go of whatever that was, that, that stress that was eating you. I knew exactly what it was for me. So, you know, like I said, I started telling... Um, everyone how it had felt and um and just release it i'm massaging here because i forgot to add that but this 
this whole area um, is also it's all connected. I mean, we're we're it's all connected here. So you know, just if you have a couple of, of minutes, you know, just kind of rub, you know, in this this area or for the girls like our <laughs> uh, breast area too, like rub rub all that, rub all that. And you will notice a difference. Um, for me, it was like by the next day, I could feel less tension on my face. So I hope that helps. Um, any questions, please comment. Um, I'll be adding more videos of the other methods that I used. And I hope to... Um, hear from you guys and we send a lot of love and light to you. You're not alone and my heart is there with you.